here. Um, they're simple, but I hope um, we'll do that with you shortly. First of all, I have to say that you cannot earn the profits without, uh, with just one escape room. Um, that's kind of a rule for nowadays, yeah, just to open one escape room and to expect uh, that you will uh, conquer this world. This is not working uh, this way. Actually, this is a simple rule just because, uh, I don't know, wastes uh, from um, one or for two escape rooms are really close but the income might be two times bigger. So yeah, I don't know, um, do you know the term LTV, lifetime value? So um, it means um, the income uh, which you can get from one client. And actually, if uh, imagine the situation, if you have one, just one escape room, you've got clients and they are really happy, they're on emotions, they really love your um, escape room, your company, your business, the whole escape room thing, and they're asking what to play more and um, you have nothing to offer them and this is a really bad situation because, um, yeah, uh, and also, and if you have uh, two or three escape rooms, you they can just book the game for next weekend and uh, this is your income. And uh, also, one more problem about the marketing we are uh, talking today. To get the client first time is really hard um, task actually. So yeah, you have to show a lot of advertising, I don't know, on the street, on the internet, uh, on the TV, radio, anywhere. Um, just to some person know, uh, get known ab uh, about your company. And um, if he comes to your escape room to uh, get him the second time, it is much easier because he's already here. He's in your place. He's um, just play he just played your uh, game, your escape room. He loved it. If you've done everything correctly, so yeah, and it will cost you nothing to get the second game from him. So uh, first of all, one escape room. This is not working, um, and uh, work on the LTV uh, of the client. Um, yeah, the second thing, uh, I see someone is writing something, oh, okay, we've got some mails here, great, uh, sorry. <clears throat> the second thing, divide your budget in, in time into multiple channels. Um, imagine uh, that you have, uh, I don't know, a friend on the radio which uh, told you that yeah, this is uh, this will work great. I promise you. Uh, let's spend all your money to the this commercial on the radio, and uh, you'll get um, all the clients in the world. This might be working. This might be not. So uh, if not, you will just lose all your money. So yeah, this is just as a um, rule prepared that you have to try a lot of things and a lot of promo action, a lot of uh, channels, as I told you, uh, TV, radio, internet. Internet have a lot of channels, I don't know, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Google AdWords, uh, some forums, some aggregators and many, many others. So um, yeah, try as many as you can to divide your risks, to divide your uh, budget and uh, the second, oh, the second, the next uh, point is really, really important. We will talk a lot about that today. Analyze any action you are doing, uh, especially in marketing, I know, especially in any uh, other part of the business, but in the marketing, don't forget about that. So if you are doing some kind of um, advertising anywhere, you have to check it, uh, the efficiency of that. So. The second point is about to divide on different channels. You have, I don't know, 10 channels. And um, imagine if you will not um, measure the efficiency of each of them, and uh, six of them were um, good, and four of them were um, to the minus, you know. And um, one of the, these four will be a radio which you've just spent 50% uh, of your money budget this month. So, um, and um, as a sum up, you will be at the zero, I don't know, 
by these 10 channels and actually you will not know if these six are working great and these four are not. So uh, for each channel you have to create the system of uh, analyzing how, how much money you spend there and how much money you got. So this is the last point. Um, to check the efficiency it is great but uh, you will be a professional if you will uh, check the ROI. I don't know I hope you uh, know all what the ROI is, it is uh, return of investments. So yeah, um, you spend, uh, I don't know, 100 bucks on some kind of commercial somewhere in a Facebook group or I, I don't know. Um, so you are counting that it is 100 bucks. You are counting that uh, how much income. Uh, so there is a, got to be a, some kind of a promo code or uh, I don't know some kind of uh, if it is in the um, journal, you know, there is got to be also the promo code or the or the special color which you will see. Uh, then the players come that it is uh, exactly from that commercial we did uh, last month. So um, yeah, and you will sum up all the income from that uh, commercial, so from that channel. Uh, for example, it is uh, one thousand bucks. And uh, profitability. I hope you know what's the profitability also. So it is uh, every game you have uh, like um, common cost. Uh, I mean uh, to pay the game master, to pay the rent, to pay the all, all that stuff. Um, as a simple thing you can uh, measure, I don't know, if the income of your escape room is uh, $20,000 and the waste, uh, the whole waste is uh, $10,000, the profitability is uh, 50%. So yeah, in our situation, uh, the income is 1,000, the profitability is uh, 50%, so it goes to 500. Uh, we're dividing it to the investments, uh, and uh, we've got the efficiency, return of investment of that exact uh, channel, that exact commercial. So it is the easiest way, you, if you will uh, find on Wikipedia, uh, the return of investments, exactly, there will be more uh, rules, more formulas how to do that. But it is um, just, uh, the main idea is to check the efficiency and uh, compare, uh, and this formula is just for you to compare uh, these channels you get, because you can spend, uh, uh, as an example, on the radio, like, I don't know, 5,000, and uh, on some internet uh, advertising, five hundreds of dollars. And uh, from each, you will get $10,000 income from each channel. But efficiency of the internet, this kind of internet channel, was much bigger from that one. So. Don't forget about that to check the results to analyze them. Ooh, okay, so let's go to the cases. Uh, oh, we've got more viewers actually. Some questions. Uh, no, no questions yet. Okay. Um, for now, it is uh, okay. So all the info is. Uh, did you know about the LTV or uh, the return of this investment thing? So have you heard about these uh, terms before? Can you write something as a feedback? Are you here still? <laughs> because we will do the cases for now. Um, that was that was a theoretical part. So for now, we will do the practical one. Oh, <laughs> you are still answering. Where did you get the <clears throat> info about the webinar? So hey guys, what's up? Are you here? Through Facebook. Okay, great. <laughs> I think we have uh, a little bit um, uh, time between uh, me saying something and you've got the video. Well, no, actually not. I'm seeing myself. Okay. So everyone get what I just told you. How was uh, how was that <laughs> for you? Tell me in one word. <clears throat> Boring or I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I see that you are talking to Anastasia, but I need your attention here. <clears throat> Maybe cases will get your attention. 
I hope. So, okay, let's start. I will ask more questions further. I hope you will... Straightforward, basic stuff. Yeah, seems to make sense. Yeah, that was just basic stuff, just a theoretical part for you to remember uh, about the results, uh, about uh, the... Uh, to um, make the analysis of uh, each waste you're doing and uh, analyze them and compare them. Okay, so let's go to the cases. First one uh, is really, really uh, simple, the mailing through the base. Uh, so first of all, if you're having, I don't know, one escape room two or... Um, actually, you could do that before you opened your first escape room, even. Um, I don't know, uh, imagine if you just... Um, doing the creating the escape room you have the website you could leave the form there uh, that we are doing such an escape room which, which will be called uh, superheroes in the space for example and uh, yeah uh, you can make the form there that um, leave your uh, phone or your mail and we will send you the invitation after we will open this escape room. And uh, on this website, you will add the photos uh, of your escape room creating, of the props, of the, I don't know, some one puzzle, uh, of uh, the legend of the story of this future escape room. So you, can, uh, you could even uh, get the base of the clients before you start uh, and open the, your uh, first escape room. But if you have already one, don't forget about that. This is really important to collect and uh, keep your client base. Uh, first of all, booking. The exact, um, exactly the same situation if you have the booking on your website. Uh, so your clients should uh, leave their uh, the mail or the phone, which you will contact them and uh, check the info of the booking. So, uh, and you have to put these uh, mails and uh, phones uh, to a special document or if you have um, CRM uh, thing, you have to put it there um, for the future um, working on it, um, for, uh, for example, mailing. Uh, on your website also, if there are already games and booking there, you could leave uh, also a special form. Um, which is um, telling that uh, if you are uh, if you wanted to get free games um, or wanted to, to test groups or uh, to know about the promo actions, leave us your mail and we will contact you sometimes. Yeah, uh, people are leaving uh, these mails. Uh, actually, I love to companies that I love. I will um, certainly give them my mail to get the info from them, from them uh, about the promo actions, about new escape rooms, because, yeah, if someone uh, loved your game, uh, one of your games, and you are opening the new escape room, how to tell this client that uh, you have a new game? Wow! Just mail him. Yeah, so, and um, mail... Mm, mails once a week. Actually, once a week is um, really too too much I think because uh, for some people it might be like wow they are sending me too much spam uh, so do it one um, time in two weeks that is uh, really okay so two times a month uh, and um, make this content interesting so uh, there should be I don't know the info that you're opening the escape room is the best info you could have in this uh, mail but actually uh, this is an impossible situation that you will uh, open new escape room every two weeks so you have to create some interesting content um, actually yeah this might be pro my actions but uh, my recommendation that it will be not just simple pro my action that we have a discount for birthdays or we have discount for someone else um, this should be such an interesting thing I don't know, we've created so much more of them, for example, I don't know, today you might uh, come to our uh, escape rooms in, uh, in special hats or I don't know, in a costume and you will get a discount or you will get some additional prizes, pizza or, or something like that. So um, do something interesting as a promo action. For people, because if you will send the prom action like a discount for birthday, this this is what every escape room company 
is doing in your city, in the, <laughs> exactly in the whole world. Uh, but if you will do something, you know, which is strange, I don't know, call it strange, uh, or or something lovely, I don't know, such as uh, getting pizza for if you are booking uh, two games in a row, um, you are getting free pizza. Uh, such actions, they are strange and people love it and they uh, will tell about that uh, their friends so they will uh, join their friends here and uh, you will get much more feedback about that create something interesting and uh, I think two weeks is uh, enough time to create something in, 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 the mi in your mind and to make this mail um, this is uh, the first thing and uh, mailing from the base the second uh, <laughs> uh, 2.0 uh, find um, this was about if you have an game masters and uh, you, you have I don't know they are having free time uh, give them a task to check all the groups in your uh, of the escape rooms on Facebook uh, in your city and uh, find the um, guys who are having birthday next week and uh, write them a message that you're having a birthday next week um, have you been to our escape rooms uh, hello something like that so yeah if your game masters having a free time they should not have a free time so give them a lot of tasks um, how to improve your business so they're your employees so make them work um, this is not the exact mailing this is about how to use your administrator so from that point, uh, from about the administrator, we are administrators. We actually, yeah, that is the thing. Uh, we call uh, on Russia. Uh, on Russian, we call uh, our game masters. I know you you call it, uh, them like that. We call them administrators. And uh, this is not just about the term. Uh, I mean, uh, difference in languages. Um, I just found it uh, in my head that uh, game masters uh, sound like they are responsible just for a game. In uh, our opinion, in my opinion, this is not true. So uh, these uh, your employees, they are responsible for I don't know exactly. If you are not on the object uh, right now in the on the place, uh, they are responsible <laughs> like for all the what you've got uh, in your place, like for all the games, for all the equipment, for uh, all the money actually, because where they are. Uh, getting the money from clients, uh, they are responsible for clients at that moment. So they are some kind of a small managers who are uh, ruling uh, in that exact time uh, the game, the, your company, uh, the process. So um, yeah, sales for administrators. Uh, let's look at the bottom line, uh, which is called that sales. Uh, it, it there goes from uh, this way marketing. So first which we were talking about uh, before. To get the client first, you have to do a lot of marketing. You have to, there is a, some kind of theoretical thing that you have to show five times to the client uh, info about your company for them to buy something from you. So uh, yeah, to show one TV commercial is uh, nothing because uh, they will not know about you. And show a TV commercial, okay. I heard about something uh, about the escape rooms. Second, um, make the advertising on Facebook. They will see it the second time. Third, I don't know, on the radio and, and so on. And uh, after that, on the sixth time, then his friend will tell him that, uh, did you know about the escape room uh, company? That kind of <laughs> company, I don't know, you have, for example, uh, let me... Control out. <laughs> okay. Mm, someone, someone's company in the UK. Have you heard about them? They had such a great uh, escape room called the uh, best escape room in the world. Um, so on that, by that time, after his friend will tell him, he will decide. Yeah, I heard about this company five times, and my friend is telling me about that. Okay, I will go. So first step to get the client uh, first time is really, really hard. It's really complicated. But from starting from that, if he already come um, came to your um, company, this is um, 
not a really simple, but it's much easier to leave him here and to um, make him play other games. So the second, the third and so on uh, game might be sold with an administrator. It should be solved with an administrator. And you are not um, actually, yeah, we are talking about no budget today. So, um, in the first point, in the second point, we are spending no money actually at all. Um, we are just making new sales. sales. Uh, how to do that exactly? Mm, cases. Uh, for example, players just came out from the escape room. They are on emotions, they have uh, good feelings, and um, you might do this such a thing if you have a space in the booking. So, there are no game uh, right now you have in uh, the other escape room. Your administrator, or game master, as you uh, I don't know which variant you love, uh, could say, Let's book for you the game just right now, and you'll have uh, such a big discount. Because you have a space, there is uh, no game on this escape room, so it will be just or zero or something with a big discount. I know, we are doing it like, um, I don't remember, the biggest was uh, 13, uh, 30%, uh, but in the middle it might be 20 to 25% discount. So um, book the game right now and you you get it. It's a big, really big discount. Um, th this works, really, I'm telling you. Uh, the second thing, you could, um, if they're having, I don't know, some kind of um, business on their own um, today and don't have the time, um, they might book the game. We are doing it this way. Um, booking the game for the next um, two weeks or maybe for a, for a month. And uh, if you book right now, you get also some kind of a discount. It might be from 10 to 25%. And uh, also your administrator should uh, write in the booking that uh, it is his um, game, it is his booking, like um, this is Vasily. Uh, and um, I will write as a promo code. So, uh, and at the end of the month, you will see how many games each uh, administrator, each game, game master gives you. So, um, your game masters, they are not responsible just uh, for a game, they're responsible for sales. So they should be uh, good sales managers actually. And uh, this is one of the parent parameters to get them on the job. So, and for each of them should be sales plan actually, so uh, that they will have to do this actually, have to do this uh, sales. Uh, we are doing it that, uh, I don't remember, for uh, now. Like on each five games, there should be one repeated sale necessary. So uh, if at the end of the month, um, some kind of one of the game masters had 20 game or ten, okay, 10 games and just one repeated sale, um, that's bad. The plan is not um, solved. So uh, yeah, three months without a plan. Sorry, you have to leave. Uh, but 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 for each uh, this is a negative motivation uh, for uh, but for um, each game they are getting additional um, positive motivation as uh, money well, a little percent from the game so yeah they love that um, actually we were talking about that more at the previous webinar uh, it was uh, last year uh, and. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of information uh, in that webinar were, was exactly about the Game Masters, so check it, you'll find uh, more info there, uh, I told about that also. So um, yeah, and one more thing here, uh, don't forget to help your administrator, administrators, your Game Masters. Um, so if you're doing any promo action, you have to get give them the instruments. If you're, I don't know, this should be banners on the uh, reception area or a mailing or um, something else uh, which will help your game masters to sell, um, to sell this game, to make sales. So yeah, because if you will tell them that this is your new plan, you have to earn for me 
one million dollars. Uh, okay, bye bye. This is not working this way. Uh, we've tried. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, you have to you have to show them that it is it is uh, possible. You have to help them to do that because it is your business. They are just they are just uh, helping you to do that. Okay, and don't forget about uh, tracking the results. Um, as I told you, promo code from each administrator, their name or their family. Um, it's important to check them. Third case, certificates. Also, I uh, uh, told you about that a little bit before. Okay, I'll repeat. So, um, so questions. questions we have. Oh, maybe I'll stop for a few seconds. Okay, which question? Oh. Um, lowering prices. Could you tell me where is it? I mean, uh, Joaquin. Mm -hmm. Sorry for if not pronunciation. Joaquin, maybe if pronunciation is not right. Uh, the downside on that strategy is that people get used to those discount rate. Um, oh no! Uh, about the Groupon. Uh, I got your question. We will have actually the slide about the Groupon, and uh, at the end uh, we might talk about that also. No, to make the price uh, lower. Also, on uh, one of uh, my webinars uh, before, uh, it is also about the marketing. Uh, remember, we've talked about the, that each company, each business, have to have. Um, um, unique uh, selling what's the word uh, unique offer you know yeah something like that so and the low price it is not not a unique profit um, unique offer because uh, everyone can do that so to make your price uh, 50% no this is not working you will just lose all your money uh, this is a really bad strategy so um, yeah about the Groupon, we will talk a little bit, a little bit. Oh, yeah, unique selling proposition. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so we will talk about that uh, on the one of the new um, next slides. Um, and what else? Because we never run discounts, and if some rooms start running them, client get used to it. Uh, yeah, this is a bad strategy. If uh, and actually, believe me, these uh, big discounts. Um, they are um, just bad escape rooms, companies doing that because they have no unique uh, selling proposition to get um, clients uh, with some other things because just, just as a price. Give me $10 and you can come to my escape room. No, you, okay, $10 and you have to pay your game master $11 for each game. You're in minus, what's the deal? So yeah, and um, here, Mm, all these cases uh, about the booking right now or the game right now uh, if you asked uh, and I've told you about the big discounts that means that it is um, it's like a secret like nobody knows about that nobody um, you're not uh, putting it on the um, on the mailing on the banners on your um, reception area no this is just um, so your game master Telling this to the clients, like, hey, I've got a special offer for you, and just today you might book next next uh, game, and I'll give you personal discount, something like that. So no, this is not a thing about uh, for giving the fifty percent uh, discount for everyone. No, this is not working this way. This is a bad strategy. This goes to the help. Okay. Yeah, and about the Groupon, we will talk about <clears throat> Certif gift certificates. Um, hello from Greece. Hello. Uh, your facts are really good, but still feels basic, at least for us. We will make more. <laughs> Just wait. It's going to be any webinar for escape rooms that are already running. For escape rooms that are already... Um, this is uh, all these um, things that I'm telling uh, is might be useful for any escape rooms or for opening or for um, already running. So there are more cases you can ask more questions. So 
Yeah, mm, this is actually not just for opening. This is uh, simple things that, but everyone for, uh, forget about them on the next day. So if you will just uh, take free ideas and uh, make them, it will increase your profit. Okay, back to <laughs> gift certificates. I, I've tried <laughs> to uh, start this slide for, for the third time. Um, yeah, we have uh, a lot of you know uh, events around. Uh, we've been um, we have a lot of I don't know college and student parties such as um, Miss University, um, like um, a, a lot of concerts and all that stuff. Uh, so don't be shy to give your gift certificates as a, as a prize for that. But there are there are some points here. Don't give, we understood that, uh, don't give a gift certificate for a full, full price because this will be just, uh, just a free game for you, so you will get nothing. You will get like a small, small, small commercial effect um, that these guys will love your escape room and they will tell uh, their friends about that. But this worked well uh, then the escape rooms appeared, just appeared, and nobody knows about that. For now, everybody knows what escape rooms uh, are, but so uh, this will not give you money, so it's a commercial. Mm, because of that, we decided to make the gift certificates, which are um, percent of the price. Yeah, and uh, as they are um, prices, so uh, they might be a big discount like till 50% discount uh, but um, as it's written here don't devaluate them so uh, don't give them as a, to everyone like on the street uh, give them as a prices uh, prices uh, on these concerts on these parties for students and so on, so on and also one more thing don't write on them like 50% uh, discount um, for example, your escape room cost is one hundred dollars. Uh, fifty percent discount is uh, fifty bucks. If you will write on the gift certificate that it is a fifty dollars certificate gift certificate uh, for one game, it will be much cooler. So, like, I've got something which costs fifty dollars, not some kind of a discount. It is fifty dollars, and I've got it in my pocket. It the value of it is much more bigger. So. Uh, use it mm, in that way. Write the number uh, of the of the amount of money actual. So yeah, and this might be for ten dollars, for twenty dollars, for fifty dollars, uh, any any amount which you are allowed to. And um, yeah, don't uh, forget about the limitation date because if you will give uh, this uh, until the year in, I don't know if you have. Uh, we have uh, big New Year holidays and actually first week of the year we are having like uh, the income um, in one week uh, as a common month. So imagine the situation if we will uh, give a lot of certificates and all of them will come at, the, at this week. So we will lose a lot of money. So um, don't forget about the limitation. Um, so yeah, people will have to play this certificate by the time you want. <laughs> and uh, also about the tracking the results, we've talking about that every time. Be sure to fix the numbers of these gift certificates. Uh, each certificate should be um, should have a number. And um, each promo action. I don't know if you have a um, guy who are uh, organizing these events for students. And you have uh, five of these guys, and uh, like this one is making these kind of parties, this one sport events, or one more. Uh, so collect the numbers for each of them. So you'll see at the end of uh, I don't know month or a year that uh, this guy, which is uh, making the sport events, or um, you gave him like um, twenty certificates, and fifteen of them got back. So, and from that, you know, who is making the parties, just five of them got back. So, you will compare them also and you'll see that this one works much better 
these sport events, maybe you'll have to give more attention to that. To that. Okay, that was about the gift certificates. Uh, going to corporate clients. Um, this is also, um, see, this is the fourth case in which we're not using the budget at all, so we're not spending money. So, yeah, today's our webinar is about not spending money, so uh, that is because, uh, that's because our uh, maybe examples are so easy, might, might be looking like. Um, so, corporate clients, <laughs> and also I've got that uh, schools and coll uh, colleges, uh, colleges, have I wrote it right? Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, they're also corporate clients. So, make a special offer for each target audience. So, um, if you have a school nearby your company, make, I don't know, page with photos of uh, kids playing your escape rooms and uh, make a special offer, a special, I don't know, proposal, uh, which um, is telling why your escape rooms uh, are good for kids. So they're making them, I don't know, some of this stuff about the team building, about uh, using imagination, about solving problems, solving puzzles, riddles, and so on. So this will be a really good, so write a good document um, for, for actually teachers and uh, parents of these kids and uh, give it to them. Uh, give a special, um, corp um, a special offer for companies actually. So uh, like our escape rooms also this stuff about team building that uh, we have, I don't know, five escape rooms in one place. So you can, if your escape rooms have, uh, I don't know that in US and in Europe, uh, in US uh, actually it is uh, more often that games are for 10 people. So imagine if you have five escape rooms, you could uh, at one time provide the game for 15, 50 uh, people. So for really good, big companies, uh, so write a special offer for them that you, if you have a corporate, uh, if you have a party for your company, we could do that. We have an additional place for you to eat the cake or to drink something <laughs> like that. So yeah, we've done it. So you have a different target audiences. Um, make a special offer for each of them. Uh, show them that your escape rooms are unique for for them. Um, yeah, and uh, give it to each of them. So, and also as a bonus, um, now you can organize the outdoor events. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, it means if you have um, done some kind of this um, offer and you've got the company for 50 uh, persons, which played your escape rooms, you could say for them that also you have a possibility to make an outdoor event for them somewhere, I don't know, on the, on the beach. So ne next their corporate might, might be on the beach and you can provide them um, outdoor event there, some kind of the quest, some kind of the game and you'll get additional, uh, additional uh, sale for exact amount of money as your five games, maybe more, actually this might be more because it is uh, unique and for um, somewhere, so it is, um, <clears throat> you are making it for them, um, exactly, so the price is much more. So you can, from that, uh, from that small step, actually we did the, uh, this way, from that small uh, step of uh, offering the, mm, mm, something for corporate clients for, from the small page. We've got a few companies which came to our escape rooms. By that time we had uh, free escape rooms. Uh, they came and they asked, uh, do we have something more or can we do a game um, somewhere else? We didn't know anything about that. We said, yes, we can. So, and uh, after a month we were doing some kind of a game in the house uh, on the, um, near the sea and uh, for them so game for 20 people they wanted there so and that was the beginning of our event company you might do it uh, in this way also so and uh, if you will not have a, an idea how to do that you can call us i'll tell you we get the scenarios 
everything will be all right. So going from here, remember about the outdoor events, exactly the same thing. So this might be took some money from you, but what we did here. So um, actually these are pictures from our big outdoor events, some, uh, some of them. So uh, the first one, first two pictures is uh, about, uh, we have a big old library in our city. Uh, the whole building is a library and it has, uh, I don't know, um, 20 or some floors, uh, stages uh, up and uh, a few down. So it's kind of a big labyrinth. So um, the second, uh, the second one is, um, yeah, so, uh, but the first one. And um, um, Department Ministry of um, Culture of our city asked us to make the event there to increase the interest uh, of the common people to the books, to the history and so stuff like that. So uh, we did that. And uh, for, by the one game, there were around 100, maybe more, uh, participants. So, and uh, we've got actually, this was about, uh, for us, this was just as a common um, order uh, for the um, outdoor event. For them, it was a big... Uh, big event like for the ministry and for the people so um, and uh, talking about your escape rooms this might be a really like I don't know the huge promotion of your escape rooms of your company so because on each animator you're using on each uh, location uh, on each promo action files which are um, so imagine the thing that uh, the client uh, Ministry of uh, Culture paying us for making this event and uh, on each material we are putting the commercial of our company, of our escape rooms and uh, we are not uh, paying for nothing, we are getting money actually for that so like we are getting money for our own commercial this is great <laughs> so um, yeah and um, th this first thing uh, we were asked for that uh, event because we are a pretty good company here in our city. Um, because we've made a good um, efforts before. And on the second and the third, uh, third is uh, our mm, the theater of the opera and ballet. And um, yeah, this was uh, two years ago that we decided to make a big um, quest there for the in the whole opera theater so there are a lot of you know stuff with uh, uh, costumes thing this thing that, that are a lot of props decorations so we were allowed to get in all all the rooms of this uh, theater and this was the i don't know really so also we've got mm, we discussed this uh, with the theater, so they gave us um, as a theater as a place to play <laughs> and uh, also their interest was to, because we were selling uh, tickets to the quest, to the, this event, with the tickets to the opera. So uh, the interest of the theater was to selling the tickets and also to increase the interest to the culture. And uh, we were getting money for tickets uh, to our quest and uh, also, but this actually might take a lot of your time and um, might take money to organize this. But this is a really huge event, uh, in, might be in your city, uh, which will um, advertise your company. And in the middle one, this is... Um, uh, what's the name? Day of the city, some kind of like, like the birthday, birthday of the city. And uh, we made, uh, actually, this was a small uh, event, small uh, quest, as it is like, I don't know, there were uh, 10 different locations with puzzles, but the amount of people played was more than 1,000. So 1,000 people uh, on this day mm, was playing, and see on each location and at the end with prizes so mm, 
the banners with our logo, logo and uh, advertise um, ad um, materials. So I think that's great. <laughs> so yeah, back to the offer for corporate clients. You might also prepare a special offer for these kinds of um, departments you have in your city or so use your imagination make something really big and it will uh, return you a lot of income promise okay so <clears throat> back to our <clears throat> back to our um, escape rooms so going really back um, these are two photos you might find here um, the last point on this slide is actually about the quality of photos. So let's uh, let's first okay. So uh, you know this is a common practice that players after the game they are coming out and uh, everyone is uh, taking photo of them and um, put it in their their Facebook groups. Actually, uh, nowadays nobody wants to look at these photos. <laughs> yeah, so. Maybe at the first time it was like wow, or for you know, for some fans of the escape rooms, um, it is uh, it might be good because they are collecting these photos. They are collecting like I've uh, visited uh, 145 escape rooms. I'm a, this is my record. Wow, but but actually for me um, to look at someone else's photo, it's like uh, okay. Nothing interesting. I will unsubscribe from that uh, for that group. So, how to use this? Um, in my opinion, uh, right. Uh, first of all, people are um, getting from the game. Uh, offer them to take a picture on their phone. So, take their phone and uh, make a photo. Uh, why? Mm, why are they using it? Because these clients will have their own photo on the phone <laughs> so um, actually this is uh, really increasing the possibility that they will use it for Instagram or at least for Instagram story um, and what do you need more this is about the marketing without any budget if someone will post uh, in Instagram the photo with uh, the hashtag or with uh, something with the wall of your escape room this is the free commercial so do it on their phones or I don't know some of them might be hurry and they are going like home so um, or there is very no possibility to um, take the photo on their phone and they just gone uh, ask them Mm, at the exit maybe you can send them the link so you're taking the photo and uh, sending them the link um, on the, on this photo I don't know at uh, Google Drive or somewhere else so imagine that they're uh, driving home and they're all in the car they're discussing the game they're on emotions they're feeling good and they got the link with their photo they are everyone uh, they're looking at it and uh, every friend are just asking give me all, uh, also this photo so it is increasing the possibility that uh, they will post it somewhere I don't know in Facebook group or in Instagram so do that and uh, the last point quality of photos look at these two pictures the, the left one is what we were doing um, at the beginning and the right one what we did uh, after so imagine which photo is uh, have better possibilities to be posted on Instagram or somewhere else. Of course, the right one. So for that, we just did we just add additional uh, lamp um, on our reception area and uh, said to our game masters to add some filters exactly at the moment that they're making photo. Add some filters if they're doing it on our photo uh, uh, on our phone for example so yeah quality mm, and the pictures on the clients phones better possibility to get the uh, free commercial okay what next oh, okay we got to the group homes and different aggregators 
Oh, let me remember what I was going to tell you here. Um, yeah, do it, do it very, very, very carefully because in our um, experience, we've got the, a lot work with these kind of aggregators, groupons. So, uh, for um, those who don't know what is the groupons, uh, okay, is there somebody left here? <laughs> so, uh, what was about the six previous cases or... Uh, okay, no, uh, the, um, do you know what the groupon thing is? Uh, write a plus is uh, if you know, write a minus if you don't know. Could you answer me? Or we are just plus. Okay. Mike knows, Hakim also, okay. Everyone knows, great. So I will not waste my time to tell you, but what? okay, <laughs> really, everybody knows. Okay, uh, one more question. Have you used uh, these Groupons for your escape rooms? Plus. Plus, plus, plus. Also, write a plus or no, uh, not to maybe write yes or no, uh, not to no, no, okay, great. No, so everybody knows. So, I think your opinion about all the groupons is actually uh, no, there will actually the same as mine, I think. So, as you know, these different groupon things. They are uh, offering like a huge discount, like 50%, maybe more. And uh, from uh, these 50% uh, which is left, they are taking their part, which is also 50% from that. And you are getting at the end, I don't know, to 20, from 20 to 25% of the cost of the price of the price. So uh, I hope you got the. Uh huh. So I hope you and understand that it is um, not what we are going to get <laughs> from the the escape room. Uh, Twenty percent of the you know, it costs. So um, use it if you are going to use it. Use it really, really carefully. And um, what my recommendations here. Uh, you might do it if you have uh, if your company is uh, like really uh, really uh, is might be old like if you have uh, and you have a lot of uh, escape rooms for example five of them and um, you um, take your oldest escape room which you I don't know which you are going to change in a few months or something like that and uh, post it there for example and if you will get clients from it. This might be a good thing because because uh, this is um, look at this as a as a bad commercial because uh, the profitability is really low. But from these clients, uh, remember the first um, the slide about the administrators that the first sale is about marketing, but other sales is about your company, how your company doing. Um, so for the second, uh, so you already got the client for the really low price for, but for your old uh, escape room, I don't know which is might be not popular at that moment. So, but you've already have a client which you can use in the future for for additional repeated sales and so on. So this might in this way, I think it might be useful. It might be it might work. But you should be really careful about that. Um, yeah, and uh, maybe this is uh, my mm, one one recommendation with them because um, my experience said that only bad escape rooms work with that, um, and they are wasting their money, they are losing their money, and actually this leads to an end that this escape room will close because because they are getting they are getting 20% of the cost so um, what else and the different thing is aggregators 
I know uh, you know what aggregator is. Yeah, that uh, the websites which are like the all the escape rooms uh, in the city. Also, there might be some kind of a rate of the escape rooms that this is the best and so on. So yeah, first of all, uh, for the aggregators, you have to add uh, to all the aggregators because um, people are uh, looking at the escape rooms. They are finding it and the aggregators, uh, yeah, this is the instrument. We cannot do anything with that. But uh, there might be additional options to pay them for booking on their site. This also, we are not using it, we are uh, doing the same thing. We, are, uh, we did it uh, just with one escape room. And actually, you could try it on one escape room and uh, for one month. And to see the comparison between this escape room, which is on the some kind of this aggregator, which is taking not 70%. Well, aggregators uh, often takes, I don't know, until 30% of the price. And uh, compare this escape room uh, with, uh, I don't know, with other which is not on this aggregator. Uh, or um, which is on this aggregator, but uh, he's not um, uh, activated as a booking platform there. I hope you, you got that I'm saying. So uh, if not, ask me. <clears throat> Going to have to go, customers of Arabia. So uh, yeah, have a, <laughs> have a good game. Yeah earn money so that's okay I'm glad so that you came still um, have a good game uh, okay so finishing the aggregators another thing better I would say try the actually this should be the other uh, case try the opinion leaders uh, or bars championship I, I wrote here opinion leaders so I hope you know also, it worked well um, at first, uh, a long time ago, then, I don't know, some kind of bloggers um, were... Um, you're inviting them to your escape room to play for free. They're playing and they're writing the, on their Instagram or Facebook something about you. Uh, a lot of people reading that and coming to you also. Yeah, but... Um, this might be uh, also don't think that it is not working nowadays it is working believe me because uh, still not like every person knows about the escape rooms first of all second you can find a lot of uh, bloggers <laughs> instagram bloggers which are having i don't know 2k uh, followers and uh, they will be happy to play your game for free and if they will write a feedback um, and uh, I don't know, free, okay, one game you'll have uh, from that feedback, it will be a success. So still, f followers are um, reading these bloggers. Um, so recommendations from friends are uh, still working. So don't forget to use about that. Uh, Bars uh, Championship, we made it also at the... Um, start so you can use that make a, as a promo action um, use um, different um, bars as, a, as an example so you can use any uh, companies um, so bars is a really good example you have uh, I don't know 20 bars in your city actually much more but uh, anyway so and you're telling everywhere like on in all your groups on Facebook and all your everywhere uh, that you're having a championship this month and uh, like uh, every bar team um, will play your exact escape room and you will uh, check their time and there will be comparison and will, there will be a champion and so on and post so uh, find the bars which will um, get to this idea so for them it is a good mm, think to make their employees to play for free game uh, for team building also to make a corporate also so this is good for them uh, for you you can um, discuss with them that you will post uh, uh, banners also in their bars uh, for that month about this championship about this uh, promo action and about all that stuff so um, imagine that in the 20 bars uh, around the city will be the 
free info about your uh, escape room company. Next month it will be, I don't know, coffee shops, something like that. So on the next month also something. So, or maybe not each month, after a month. So yeah, I, I think this works. So you're just putting a lot of materials uh, around the city and uh, people seeing that. Okay, let's go. And uh, yeah, we've got here, oh, actually uh, I have a story about uh, tri-opinion leaders. Mm, this was uh, just simple, uh, luck i don't know we have a, we had a promo action about um we were um, i don't remember the exact uh, conditions of the uh, this promo action but the prize was uh, the um, what's the cycle yeah and um, i don't know uh, if you are knowing the hockey team um, st louis hockey team in us and there is uh, Vladimir Tarasenko playing. Actually, he is from Novosibirsk. He was playing uh, in our uh, hockey team. And he was like a huge star in, in our city. It was, I promise you, this was uh, just a random lack, luck that from, I don't remember the exact number, like 200 participants uh, which played um, the games uh, this month. Every participant, uh, every player uh, got uh, some kind of a ticket and uh, between them we uh, were given the prizes and he won the main prize, <laughs> Vladimir Tarasenko. He came, actually, uh, so our game masters took a photo of him with the, prize, with the main prize, he left, <laughs> got the main prize. They uh, posted, they, they just didn't know uh, him, <laughs> I don't know how was that, and uh, they posted in, um, in the group, in the social network, and uh, all the partners, all the other workers were just, what? Yeah. <laughs> of course, every, um, uh, every other player was uh, first were uh, was thinking that it is uh, was not random and something like that but really i promise you we were such uh, like wow vladimir tarasenko played our games uh, won the prize we got the photo with him the prize uh, put, put this photo in each social network and uh, yeah got a lot of uh, also free commercial from that small uh, thing with photo uh, and if this run down price so um, a lot of luck from that um, yeah <laughs> back to our last case this is also about uh, the prices and uh, something like that you can um, make some partnership with any any um, companies uh, about the prices so um, in these uh, two photo first two photos um, we've discussed with one guy that uh, he has a small company, he's, he's uh, selling them cycles, segways and all that stuff. And uh, we discussed that we will uh, make um, commercial for him because we already have a big group on Facebook and so on. Uh, and uh, at the end of the, this promo action, he will give the price for one of the players. So. Um, we have an uh, instrument to take big prices, or maybe not big like in a car, but good, cool prices, um, and uh, give it to our players. And this is uh, cost us nothing. And uh, he will al also advertise our uh, company, so because uh, go there, and uh, you might uh, win this prize. So. Um, this is about the prices and prices might be really different and really uh, interesting mm, okay too much money <laughs> oh, too, money. <laughs> too much time wasting on that okay uh, if you will be interesting I will tell you about that uh, and uh, partnership also uh, in other way uh, so here we've got uh, um, a lot of our games and price from some partner. 
or it might be in different way uh, as it's uh, on the last picture it's a lo loyalty card you know in every coffee shop there have s such a promo actions that uh, take four uh, cup of cups of coffee and uh, the fifth will be for free so make the same thing but take nine cups of coffee and uh, uh, and uh, as a price you'll get a discount or or free, free game for um, uh, in, this, in the escape room so you are the one who is giving the price but in this way you have to um, do this partnership so this uh, coffee shop will put a lot of your uh, commercial materials um, there so um, about about uh, your escape room and uh, people are, are drinking coffee every day so nine day, days in a row they will uh, buy this cup of coffee and they will see the commercial about your exact escape room and it is the main price great so okay i think that is it about our main part so maybe you'll write write me an um, letter letter m m no letter u if it was useful for you and you like it and uh, letter okay i would just want to use today <laughs> okay maybe if you don't like it uh, at all put the or you could put the number from one to nine uh, how is it for you useful or not or um, how was the sound how was my language how was uh, everything so uh, put the numbers uh, <clears throat> For me to know maybe so maybe we'll discuss it individually in the future you tell me what's what to do better and so on um, a bit too basic yeah also uh, still um, it might be basic but uh, the thing is that uh, even me that I'm talking about that I have much more ideas actually about that also every day you know new ideas coming but we had not so many time to create them to make them bring them to life so um, actually like you might know a 90% of what I'm saying today but this is exactly the same thing as the uh, marketing and commercials uh, you have to uh, look at that five times uh, to buy it you have to remember about uh, remember um, about that five times to do that in your business so I hope I hope that uh, yeah m you might be um, mm, there might be a situation that you know all the stuff that I've told you that but I don't know you just mm, using three of these cases so you might try other five and so on so still I hope this webinar make you make your brain works and to create more ideas for your escape room okay so promo action as I um, promised um, as I promised at the beginning today's our promo action actually for the guys who are going to open the escape room and open it soon maybe if you have such an idea we have for now this is really unique um, you know, situation we have an um, escape room which is called Tesla Mystery. Uh, it's really cool with a lot of electricity stuff, all that, uh, a lot of electronics, puzzles, a lot of some kind of vintage things. And um, it is until 31st of January if you, we will sign the agreement with one of you, just one. Uh, the cost for the complete puzzle package will be with a really big discount because because it's unique for just one so um, in that case like everything included in that uh, package so you might read actually if you are interested in uh, the um, in our company like if you want to about the scenarios props or electronics we have a catalog with the scenarios with the different packages so um, yeah this is not the average price we've got in our company no you might 
buy some electronics for 6000 for example and there will be a lot of electronic puzzles with software with all, everything controls in the room so yeah we have uh, a lot of that but for that exact uh, package that exact escape room uh, we have uh, this complete puzzle package it means that we will provide you the whole electronics the whole puzzles and in this package furniture included so all furniture for the escape room so you need to just make the floor make the walls wallpapers ceiling if you don't get it <laughs> so yeah you will just get the container or someone something else take it out install everything oh all also you could ask us for the installation for additional price um, and our price is not too big about the installation I promise you it's much 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 less than uh, the price of uh, your engineers if, if we are talking about Europe um, some some Europe and uh, the US for sure I can tell you that uh, our engineers are taking less money so this is uh, just just as an offer so you might use it maybe um, yeah last part question actually I have uh, two slides more really uh, fast uh, there are two conferences uh, I found um, so we are <laughs> not I found we are planning to visit this year uh, in Netherlands and in the USA so if you are uh, someone near actually um, I hope to see you there and uh, also, if you are going to order some uh, props, some electronics or, or something else, or maybe just meet me at these conferences, we can contact and meet there. So if you will order something, I this there is a possibility to bring it on these conferences. Uh, so and we'll show it to you also. Um, or just we'll meet there, have an, maybe future partnership and so on so we are open to any kind of stuff for that like that um, hope to see you there and uh, next webinar it will be oh, after a month because um, I'm leaving to vacations uh, for two weeks oh, sorry <laughs> so you might uh, look at our um, previous webinars on our YouTube channel uh, or still our company is working so it's uh, we have a lot of projects actually right now um, yeah our um, next webinar will be exactly for the um, guys who are starting the new escape room or exactly starting the escape room uh, company uh, so it will be about how to choose a franchise or um, how to choose a builders for the escape room um, also if you have some kind of themes um, that you would like to discuss write me on WhatsApp, so here is my contacts, um, or write in our Facebook group, on our website you can leave the, um, leave the request, or write me on the mail. So um, we can discuss it and maybe next webinar we will uh, choose some other themes we have, we have a lot of to discuss. So yeah, let's get back to the questions, if you have something, a lot of uh, messages in the chat, so Mm -hmm. Which one? From whom? Uh, last question is from Clint Green. Uh, Clint, uh, Clint Green. Okay, how do we market escape rooms in a new emerging, emerging market? Uh, here is South Africa. Okay, uh, emerging. So, uh, what is the emerging meaning? It's a new market. A new one. Is People it? Don't, uh, don't know what, what this escape rooms is about. Yeah? I'm uh, getting it right. We are uh, we opened in September, and we are really trying to get the word out on that an escape room is. Mm -hmm. We had been running a lot of Facebook ad. You know what? Uh, here, yeah. Uh, in my opinion, I've got your problem that um, using Facebook ads and the Google AdWords uh, and also the flyers thing. Uh, let me, yeah, it is. Um, it might not work 
because nobody knows what the escape room is. So you're making the commercial uh, on the um, Google AdWords that uh, best escape room in the city and nobody, uh, first of all, nobody Googles escape room because nobody knows about that and uh, really you will come um, you will um, be comparing like with all other um, entertainment in the city actually you will uh, anyway but first of all i would i would recommend um got to go thank you thank you for uh, joining us i hope to see you on the next webinar jan so um, hope you like it um yeah um taking back to this um, South Africa thing. In my, my recommendation is uh, to use these uh, kind of things about the opinion leaders. Don't look at the Groupon and the aggregator things. No, don't forget about that. You really, if you, the escape room market is new in your city, there are no aggregators actually. There should be. Uh, so try this thing about the championship between different companies. Uh, try the opinion leaders. So they will write. You, you need something that um, that will not show that you have a good escape room or no. Um, you need something that will uh, show people that there is a new entertainment in the city, in the country. I don't know in the in the Africa. So um, yeah. In, in this way it should be so maybe you could it's not the marketing without budget actually this is with budget but uh, maybe you can write an article in different um, on different it might be forums it might be like, like uh, internet um, what's the word I forgot sorry uh, so yeah article about the new entertainment which is uh, intellectual which is, is an adventure so i would do we've done it this way uh, four years ago so we have something new for you to play to spend your time so uh, for now you're um, competing with uh, i don't know Friday night to spend it in the bar or to spend it intellectually uh, as an adventure playing the escape room. So you have to show people that it is really interesting, it is uh, really emotional, wow, and so on. And I think you should do it not through the Facebook group or through the AdWords. From uh, you should use the Facebook group for sure. And on the first uh, steps. You could uh, add all the photos uh, so people could see that hmm, uh, a lot of uh, people come in there, but use it uh, on their phones so uh, your players should uh, post it in, on their f Facebook pages and Instagrams so their friends will see that uh, you have uh, that they visited such a new entertainment. So, I think in this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, great. Thanks for the feedback. Thank you for the feedback. Um, yeah, some of it I was already a bit aware of, but hearing it from you is definitely reinforced postponement. As I, as I told you, I hope it works this way. Mm. Okay, so um, I think there are no questions. Yeah, a lot of um, chatting, but I, I, yeah, nice to hope uh, got it all this info from you. So um, yeah, for those of you again uh, who are, want to get the um, I don't know escape room market on a new level or to get the feedback for your exact uh, situation for your exact exact uh, escape room. Uh, our recommendations and um, maybe maybe <laughs> also if you want to order something from our company um, I hope you you've left your email or you could use uh, ours it's written which slide 
I think I used the Tesla one, if you're not, <laughs> if it's okay. So yeah, um, this is exactly my phone, so uh, you can use it, right, to me. Um, we will discuss it, we can have a call via WhatsApp or Skype, and uh, I don't know. One of the ideas for the future webinars was to show you how our uh, place is organized. Maybe I'll show you what we got uh, here of work, how our engineers working and so on. So, um, is it working well? Okay, so yeah, thank you all for coming. I hope to see you next um, next time on the next webinar. Hope you like it. Um, really, thank you for all for coming. So see you. Bye bye. Wish you a lot of profit in your escape rooms.